Hello, this is Mr. Agbamu Idano Grene. I'm here to demonstrate how you can create a simple slider crank mechanism using this software called JoJibra Classic. All I'm trying to do in this video is just to demonstrate how you can show your students in your classroom the way the slider and the crank mechanism works so that instead of just explaining on paper, you can do simple animation for them and they will follow you very well and understand you. So let me just give you a simple sketch of the slider crank mechanism. Let me bring it into my GeoGebra Classic. I'll save it in my system, which is uh, this. Okay, that is this capture one. So, so this is a simple sketch of a slider crank mechanism. So you can see the crank label as link two. So as this crank rotates, round so it gives power to the connecting rod which is labeled as link 3 then the connecting rod, rod in turns slide the piston which move horizontally along this line so it's a simple mechanism yeah so let me just do the analysis using GeoGebra classic in case you're in class teaching or you want to know how it works in real life you can just do a simple demonstration using the GeoGebra Classic. So let me start without delay. So I have, start with your circle, use this particular format of circle, which is center and radius, just click on it. Let me click this point. So you see, put in your radius, let me take radius two, uh, radius of two units, okay. So this is my radius and that is all. Then get your point, I click on just click on the surface so if you look at this place let me go back again when you click on this point it tell you to select position or like you can learn this software very well any uh, function you click on it will tell you what to do next you learn and we just read this place you will learn what to do next so it's very easy to understand just keep practicing you'll be used to it so it's telling me where i want to position my point i want it to be here so as i click my point there so this is my Point. you can see I can click and drag so it's going around which represent this slider now then I can now connect it to the segments see from the center to this place so that is that take note of that if you wish to label this point just click on the point come here you see the I hide the name everything is showing here if I click on name see point D comes out here you click on the center see click on the name see it came out as C. so if you want to rename it it depends on you I can rename it I can say okay I want the center to be O so that is that I can right click this place D depend on you if I say okay I want to rename it to be maybe A Okay. okay you know that is okay that is that all right so you can click and move around just make sure you are on just make sure you click move before clicking on any point you want to move okay, so that you can click on it see, see drag or select object so you click it wrong so that is that all right let's do the next one the next one is i need this horizontal line so that I can know I can connect my crank to the horizontal line through the connecting rod. So what I have to do that is simple. Just get a straight line from the center here, somewhere here. I've got my straight line. Then I need a circle, center and radius also. So let the center of the circle be A because it is A that is controlling the movement of the connecting rod so let your center be A as you click on A it's telling you to put radius let's assume I'm taking a radius of let me see radius of 7 ok so that is this so I need this point this point is very important where my radius of the circle I drew from center A where it crosses this horizontal line that is I mean from here to here which will give me the length of the connecting rod so the length of the connecting rod is from a to this place here which is from here to here so i need to click on move first see what i'm talking about as i move this 
point A now. So as I move it, you can see that this point of intersection is moving. So let me get my point of intersection. You see intercept, very important. So click on it, click on this line, click on the circle. So the point of intersection has shown here. It also shows in this place. So depend on where you want your slider to go along. If I want my slider to come towards this side, and I do my connecting rod towards this side. If I want my slider to slide on this my left side, I do my connecting rod to this side. So it depends on where you want your slider to go. And as you do that, connect it with your segment from A down to this place. And that is all. If I want my slider to be on my right, so I need to connect A to this point. But let me just leave it the way the diagram appears. So that is all about this. The next thing is to hide those lines that you don't need. So I don't need this line. Right click it, click on show object. I don't need this circle. Right click it, show object. I don't need this point. Right click it, show object. I don't need this point also. So right click, show object. So my mechanism has been done and that is all. So if I want this point to be labeled, just click on it, come here, click name. So it's labeled as point E. You can see, so that is that. So this, my mechanism is done. My piston represents point E. My crank, which is OA, this is the rotating member. And that is all. You can see as I turn, my mechanism is moving. So if I want to create the sliding position now, just right click on E. Click on show trees. So click on show trees. As you move, you see the part of the slider will now be shown. And see so you can do a simple you can just right click on a click on animate so that you turn on its own you can see it is going on its own very simple and that is that so this is how you do a simple crank and slider mechanism so very simple as that so take note of that so you can come here and stop it that is it Yes, as I move the screen, you can see the trace line has disappeared. So if you wish to put this your sliding box, it's very simple, just click your circle. Let me take a small radius of let's say 0 0.5. Okay, then all you need to do now is I have not finished. Okay. All you need to do is just to create your polygon here your four-sided polygon on it something like this something like this something like this you can make it straight make it parallel to the line Okay, I think we are okay like this. So that is the hide what you don't need. Just right click, show object, right click, show object, right click, show object, right click, show object, then the circle finally, right click, show object. Then this is the slider E. So work done complete. I can remove the trace I click here initially or oh, let me see if it's showing okay the trace okay it's now it's no longer there then click your animate so this is your simple slider crank mechanism you can use it in your classroom demonstrate it to your student and they will understand how it works so take note of this and I hope you enjoyed this video so, see my next video. Do have a nice time.